Hello, my friends from the vinyl community. Welcome back to another installment of Vinyl Records. I'm going to do this one in two parts. Vinyl Records by label, Oaklawn Records. Music I grew up with also has a lot of sentimental value. I also show a short collection of my craft work, OMD, and also Yellow Magic Orchestra. We're going to discuss some synth pop, electro, all those good jams from the past. But before we get started, I like to do something just a little bit different. I like to start off with the CD. Back in 96, I was collecting a lot of CDs before I started buying vinyl records again in 98. Walked in the music store and I seen this. Retro Club Classics. And I seen, a, wow, this got American Soviets, New York, Houseman, some T42 on there. I didn't know anything about Oaklawn Records at the time, but I just loved these jams. Also, I'd like to show you too, it's on High Zone Music Incorporated. This this particular CD right now is a collectible, so if you ever get opportunity to get Retro Club Classics, it's a really good one to have. I enjoy it very much, and please get it, and I hope you enjoy it like I did. Now let's go on to the vinyl records. MCL, Microchip League, this is New York. Feel the heart of it, be a part of it. New York, New York. Really good jam right here. This one came out in 87. The original came off of Future Dance in 86. So it's a really good jam right here. Communicate is on side B. That's a good jam also. This song right here has a lot of genres. It's, it's synth pop, techno, electro, and also EBM. So when you listen to it, you see all those elements of music. Next one is uh, this American Soviet, CCCP. This is the Cameron Paul remix. This one came out in 87. The original was 86. The original came off of, let me find it right here, Clockwork Records. That's uh, from Germany. Anyway, this is a good jam to have. Really enjoy it. Now, I remember the intro was, uh, let me try to remember. It was, uh, hello, Corby. This is the White House. Brandon Reagan speaking. Hello, my friend. How are you today? Are you ready for our daily chess match? Blah, blah, blah. Then brr, pop, brr, pop. And here comes that beat. Really good stuff. American Soviets, CCP. Get the Cameron Paul remix. Really good with the sirens in the background. This is Voyu, Houseman, Germany Calling. This has the Razor Maid remix on there. Also, it's a promo. Let me show you the label of the record. There it is, the white label promo of Houseman Germany Calling. Good stuff, Oakland Records. I believe the original came out on a label called 7-Eleven. It's a German pressing. And of course, this is Oakland Records from Dallas, Texas. Good stuff right there. Good techno, electro music. Okay, this next one, I Know I'm Losing You. This is by Uptown, also known as Uptown Girls. Every time I go in a music store, I'm flipping through those records. I always find this label right here, Uptown, I'm Losing You. Very, very popular. They must have made many, many pressings. And the thing I didn't realize about this song, it was pressed back in 83. I didn't know the song was actually that old. It's more high energy disco song. So when I'm DJing, like some old school jams, they come up to me and say, hey, look, you got that song, I'm Losing You. I'm like, I couldn't wait to play it. So I put on the jam right there and everybody loves it. Brings back those sweet memories. This next one is uh, Lesson 7. This is Radiation. This is more EBM. Good jam right there also. T42. This is uh, Don't Let My Love. Also, it's called Don't Let My Love Push You Away. This is a different one. This came out on the red label. The other one came out on, I think, a gray label and has a picture cover. And I did a little research. This one's just a little bit more rare. So if you ever get the uh, opportunity to get T42, I don't think you'd be disappointed. Also, I just ordered some records from this guy. So I'm getting Desire by T42. I really love that song a whole lot. And I can't wait to share that with you on my next video. So T42 is a really good band. I enjoy it. Okay, another good record to get, but it's not an Oakland record label. It's actually Razor Maid. This one right here is the anniversary. I think it's 6.0. Yeah. And it has a lot of good jams on there. I don't know if y'all can see that with the glare. It's got Information Society, Depeche Mode, League of Gentlemen. It's got Voyu and Micro Trip Lee. And I want to show you. It has a little bit different versions of New York and also with uh, Houseman on it. 
You can see right there we got clear green transparent vinyl. There's Microchip League. That's New York. And Voyu on the other side is Houseman. I like I like to play this jam too. So if you ever get opportunity, get a Razor Made record. And some of the Razor Made records you might not like all the tracks on there. But I'm telling you, this one right here, the Anniversary 6.0, get this one. Good stuff right there. Okay, let's go to Craftwork. Let me try to get all these Craftwork records out. All right, here we go. Okay, this first one right here, Computer World. What can I say? Pioneers Electronic Electro Synth Pop Music. Every single song on here is iconic. All today's jams are derived from this this track right here. A lot of good stuff. Let me show you the inside what it looks like. This is Computer World from 1981. 32 years ago this record came out. Unbelievable. Anyway, I was doing some research. Uh, if you go to Discogs, you can pull up the catalog numbers and get a little more information about it. This one's actually a U.S. pressing. And when I was looking at the uh, catalog number, it has like HS8459 uh, or something with a WS. Well, on the Discogs, it has WW. W is with Westminster, Virginia. That's a pressing plant for Capitol Records. Also, this one came out from... Uh, Illinois. It was actually uh, I think Jacksonville, Illinois is where it was pressed at. So I thought it had something really rare, but actually it was a U.S. pressing. So really excited about finding all this stuff up. Just have some fun. Go to Discogs. Pull up your catalog numbers. And uh, just take your vinyl records to another level. Here we got Craftwork. This is Tour de France. This actually came out 84. The original was 83, and this is a French pressing. Like I said, Kraftwerk was pressed all around the world. Anywhere from 50 to 90 pressings per album. Awesome. Here we got the Man Machine. There we got some iconic songs. Robots is probably my favorite. It's got the model and neon lights on there. This one right here is actually a Canadian pressing. Good vintage, old school, electro, synth pop, pioneers. Let me see what, what time it came out. 1978, some real early stuff. Okay, one of the early stuff right here. This is Autobahn. This actually came out in 74. This particular album right here was pressed in New Zealand and Australia. I checked the uh, catalog number. So, like I said, it's got a little more personal value to me just knowing that these records were pressed all around the world. Real early stuff right there from 74. Autobahn. Get your Kraftwerk collection going and get your Autobahn. One record I do not have, I like to get Trans Europe Express. Really love that album. Maybe I can do that on my want list on this guys. Radioactivity. This one came out in 75. This is no introduction. These are not reissues. This is actually original pressings. I guess about 10 years ago, I bought a couple reissues of uh, Trans Europe Express and also Radioactivity. But it means so much more of having those original pressings of your vinyl records. Okay, let's discuss this one right here. I don't know where I bought it. I might have bought this from Japan. This is Numbers by Kraftwerk. It's actually a promo. And when you look at the label, it says 1997. But I did a little extensive research. It's actually uh, a replica from 99. So it is a promo. It's a replica from 99. And the way you tell that, you look at the etching. The one from 97 has a stamp on there of the catalog number. This one is handwritten. So this one was a replica from 1999. So if you get this one right here, chances are it's from 99. If you get the one with the picture cover numbers, that one's from 97. So a little tidbit for you. Another one of my favorites, this is Electric Cafe. This one came out in 86. It's got all the jams on, music non-stop, techno pop, electric cafe, the telephone call, it's all the good stuff. What I love about this cover, that gatefold. Vintage gatefold, Betty y'all, Ralph Florian, all the guys. Also, I'm gonna show you the inside. Y'all never seen Kraftwerk vinyl before. This is what it looks like inside. 
remember going to the uh, the clubs back in the day, and on the monitor they were playing music nonstop, and they had that little that little robot going boing boom chuck. It was really cool. I thought that was a really cool uh, addition to the dance floor. And a spinoff to the uh, Electric Cafe, I got Music Nonstop. That's a good jam right there. Okay, that's it for my craft work. Hopefully I get some more collection going soon. Yellow Magic Orchestra. Here's the LP. This one came out, I think, 1980. No, 1979. It's off of Horizon Records. I believe it's a Canadian pressing. It's got computer game on it. Some really good stuff right there. I think they actually made their first song back in 1978 in Japan. That's their very first LP. Yellow Magic Orchestra. If you listen to some of these jams on here, I think it's computer game. Fix it in the mix by Pretty Tony. You'll hear a lot of samples from the Yellow Magic Orchestra. So I don't think Pretty Tony came up with some of those, those sounds in there that actually came from Yellow Magic Orchestra and also Kraftwerk. So a lot of samples from those great bands. Here's another Yellow Magic Orchestra right here. This is a uh, BGM. Another one we got by Yellow Magic Orchestra. This is Multiplies. Okay, before we get any further, I'd like to do an old school shake of a cassette. I forgot to bring this one up. This is Kraftwerk Autobahn. Actually, the cassette. This one came from 85. 1985, this was made. Kraftwerk, I've only played it one time. So it's pretty much in mint condition. That's a good collectible right there also. Okay, let's move over to OMD. Here we got the LP, OMD right here. I think it's self-titled. I'm tr trying to get into the OMD. I haven't listened to all these albums yet, but when I get a little bit of time, I will. Here's Organization, another OMD. There you see we got Enola Gay is on there. Let's see what else we got. It said, The More I See You and Promise. Some really good stuff there. Okay, another one called uh, Betray My Friends. It's actually a single, 12 inch single OMD. It's called uh, A Frame of White Light. Gotta listen to that also. And the last OMD is Architecture and Morality. Got some pretty good jams on that, Joan of Arc. Got Georgia in the beginning and the end. Only listened to a few of it, but not all of it. OMD. Really need to get into it. Anyway, I still collect records, and I, when I get more time, I can listen to it, and I get some more uh, info on it. And stay tuned for my next video. I got some more records coming from this guy I'm really excited about. So uh, just stay tuned, and thank you very much for watching my videos.